Dito lang kayo, dito lang may humingiti sa inyo sa church sa labas, puro si Mamo tabuli niya. Puro homesick, walang pera. I asked one sister in our hospital. She's in housekeeping. O siguro naman, bukas, masaya ka na. Kasi sweldo na. Ngek! Papadala ko lahat. Wala rin. Kulang pa nga. Masumaya yung tao. At least, a payday kahit ng three hours, masaya ka habang nasa wallet mo yung pera. No? Hindi. Kulang pa nga eh. That's not life in abundance. Amen. If you are in Christ, ibang perspective mo. Lord, thank you. I have a job. Amen. I have a salary. Amen. You are giving me money to send to my family in the Philippines. I praise you. I thank you. I praise you. I thank you for that. Amen. Hallelujah. This is how a Christian should live. Amen. The Bible says, give thanks in all things. Hallelujah. Amen. Give thanks in all things. Hallelujah! And as you continue to praise the Lord and thank the Lord, when praise goes up, the blessing comes down. Amen. You got it, huh? Amen. When praise goes up, blessing comes down. Amen. That's real. Praise opens the doors and the windows of heaven. God will not bless a grouchy person. Amen. A complaining person. In fact, He kills them. In the desert, He sends snakes to kill those who are complainers. Tell your neighbor, never complain. Never and right, never complain. Never complain. Amen? Amen. Amen. The centurion said, Lord, I do not deserve to have you come under my roof. He honors Jesus so much, though he was a centurion. Centurion is a Roman commander of 100 people. Century. How many? 100 centuries. 100 and a century. Centurion. It's 100, 100. That's a, that's a big uh, group. Yeah. I mean, to say this guy is an officer in the Roman army. But he said, Lord, I do not deserve to have you come under my roof. But just say the word. Are you getting this? Amen. Just release the word, Lord. Say the word, release, release the word. And my servant we, will be healed. He knows what authority is. Amen. Because he's in the military. He knows what authority is. When the general says, this is what we will do, pass it down the line, everybody will follow. This is what the centurion have in mind. And he believes that Jesus has more authority than the generals. He believes that Jesus has authority above all authorities. Amen. So he said, Lord, you don't even have to go to my house. Because I believe you have power in the spiritual world. So Lord, just say the word. Amen. And my servant will be healed. Just say the word. Tonight we will say the word. Amen. And you will be healed. Amen. Your father will be healed. Amen. Your mother will be healed. Amen. Your father will be healed. Whatever is the sickness and diseases, we will send out the word of Jesus. Not our words, but the words of Jesus. And they will be healed. We will 
and sent out the word. Lord, say the word. Just say the word. The importance of the word, whether it is through television or radio, you heard the word of God, it works. Amen. Amen. We have our preachings on the internet. You listen, you listen. The anointing is still there. Amen. Amen. The anointing is there. The anointing we have here, it goes on the tape on that video, goes to the internet. When you listen again, Amen. the anointing is there. Amen. It doesn't diminish. Amen. Amen. Have you tried? Have Amen. You tried? Amen. Amen. Our messages on the internet. Amen. Try to listen. The anointing is still there. The power is still there. Why? The Word of God is always anointed. Amen. Amen. Hindi pa nakawalang anointing ng Word. Amen. Lord, just say the Word and my servant will be healed. Because I myself am a man under authority with soldiers under me. I tell this one, go! And he goes. And that one, come! And he comes. And I say to my servant, do this! And he does it. He knows the power of the word. Amen. You have power also in your words. Amen. You say, now, now you go to the bank. The money is there. They go to the bank. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? You have power in your words. <laughs> OFW, very powerful they are. <laughs> Brent William, you have power. <laughs> Amen? So, the centurion knows the principle of hierarchy. Power. Power. I said to this one, go, and he goes, and I said to that one, come, and he comes. And I say to my servant, do this, and he does it. So he believes that Jesus has the same power over the spiritual world, Amen. in the spiritual world. So he said, Lord, you don't even have to come. You don't even have to come. Just say the word. Send the word. Bible says in the book of Psalms, God sent forth His word, God sent His word, and healed them, and delivered them from destruction. This is how powerful the word of God is. You come to the church, you listen to the service, you listen to the sermon, to the preaching, you receive the word, you believe the word. It will do miracles in your life. It increases your faith, and you act on your faith. You receive your miracles. You receive your miracles. Why? Because there is power in the word of Jesus. Amen. There is power in the word of Jesus. <coughs> Praise God. Verse 10. Put it on the screen, please. <coughs> when Jesus heard this, he was astonished. He was amazed. Why? Why was Jesus amazed? Because very few people see the authority of Jesus by just releasing the word. Very few people. They always want Jesus to come to pray over them and to touch them and pray over them, touch them. But this guy doesn't need any touching. Greater faith. Higher faith. Higher faith. When Jesus heard this, he was astonished and said to those following him, I tell you the truth, I have not found anyone in Israel with such what? Great faith. With such what? Great faith. Great faith. Great faith is believing the word of God. You don't need to see an angel to be healed. Hello, you don't need to see Jesus himself coming into your room and tell you what to do. Read the word of God. That's greater faith. Amen. Are we getting this? Amen. Whatever is written here, they are the words of Jesus. We believe it. We receive it. Jesus will appreciate it. 
And Jesus will act in behalf of the Word. In behalf of the Word. Are we getting this? Yeah. So what is written in the Bible is exactly what Jesus will do for you. Yeah. We purchase a land. We put the conditions in the contract. I sign, Pastor Cherry sign, the other party sign, the lawyer stamp it. Became a legal document. And the contract says, down payment so and so, first payment so and so, second payment, third, up to 24 payment. They are just written words. But the seller believes what is written in the contract. They believe that we will pay every month. Amen. But they're just words. They don't ask us to come to Cavite every end of the month and personally pay. Are you getting this? Amen. They just believe the words in the contract. Amen. That every end of the month we will send the money to pay the farm. Amen. Amen. It's the same here. Whatever you read here, the words of Jesus, it's a contract of Jesus between you and Him. Amen. Amen. Covenant means contract. Amen. New Testament means new covenant, new contract. Old Testament means old contract. Contract between the Father and the people. Now, New Testament, contract between the Father and Jesus and you. So everything written in the New Testament, in your Bible, are the promises within the contract. Amen. Amen. Everything written in the New Testament, new contract, sealed by the blood, they will be accomplished by God. Amen. So you believe it. Just like the centurion. He said, Lord, just say the word. I don't even have you to come to my house. I don't need you to come to my house. It's very far. But just say the word and my servant will be healed. Amen. Servant will be healed. We're getting this? Amen. Let's go. Verse 12. The subjects of the kingdom will be thrown outside into the darkness where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Why? Because they're not believing Jesus. Kaya nasabi ng Panginoon ito. Na-appreciate niya yung unbeliever. The Gentile believes him, but the Israelites don't believe him. Next verse. Then Jesus said to the centurion, Go! He sent the word. Go! The healing word was sent, Brother Andy. Go! Your child will be healed. Your servant will be healed. Go! It will be done just as you believe it would. And what happened? What happened? What happened? The servant, come on, read it. Everybody ready? Go! One more time. The servant was healed at that same hour. There is no distance in prayer. Because God is everywhere. There is no distance in prayer. We can pray here, somebody gets healed in South Africa. We can pray here, somebody gets healed in Thailand. We can pray here, somebody gets healed in Iloilo. Yeah. Why? Because there is no distance in prayer. Why? Because to God, He is everywhere. Yeah. He knows everything. What He needs from us is faith. Do you believe? Jesus says, can you believe? Do you believe that I can do this? So his servant was healed 
at that same hour. Same very hour. 